Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to use a USB or hard drive as your PSTV's main UXO storage. So if you guys didn't know, the internal storage on a PSTV isn't that much. It's about one gigabyte something. And obviously, I want to upgrade that to something a bit better. So right here, I've actually got a USB adapter with a micro SD card in it. This is 32 gigabyte, and I can use this as my main UXO storage. So you can use a USB, you can also use a hard drive, anything that plugs into this USB port right here will actually work. Now this will replace um, the PSTV's memory card. So if you have a memory card in this port right here, you can actually take that out because you won't need that once you upgrade it. Or if you just use the internal storage like me, that's fine because this will replace that as well. So what you guys want to do, make sure this is not plugged in yet. You want to go ahead and power on your PSTV. So right now, it's actually a really small size. I'm not actually too sure. Let's just check out. So you need to open up VTShell anyway. Let's just find out what mine is. So if I look at my UXO, yeah, it's only 1.5 gigabytes. So I'm going to upgrade this to 32 gigabyte. So if you guys want to follow along, the program is called USB-MC. So go ahead, open up VTShell, press select, go and connect your PSTV to your PC via FTP server, and I will show you guys what to do next. Okay guys, so once you're on your computer, there will be a link to the GitHub to the USB MC in the description of this video. And all you guys want to do is scroll down on this page and you can read a bit about the installation and installation. I will be guiding you guys through this anyway. So basically just make sure your USB drive is connected to your PC. We're going to go up and just click on releases right here. We then just want to scroll down and just click on the USB MC installer.vpk. This is just going to download the VPK file to our PC's downloads folder. So once we have downloaded this, the next thing we need to do is format our USB drive. So what we need to do is just go to our downloads or just somewhere on our file explorer, find our USB drive that's connected, right click and then just go to format. Now make sure you select your USB drive, do not select anything else. If there's any files on here, make sure to back them up first. So capacity, leave that. File system, I would recommend choosing XFAT. Allocation size, you can either set this as 32 or 64. I'm just going to leave it as default because it's probably going to put it as 32 anyway. And then we're just going to click start and then on OK. And then just click OK when it's complete. And that is literally it. It's now formatted. Next, what we need to do is go ahead and open up FileZilla because we will need to connect our PSTV um, to our PC via FTP so we can copy across the VPK file. So let's just go and open this right now. I'm just going to enter in the host and the port and I'm just going to click on quick connect. Then just click on OK and now it's connected. So go to your downloads folder, find your USB installer.vpk and um, you can find this like on your downloads and we just need to drag and drop this into the UXO. So I'm just going to drag and drop it over there. I've already got one. I'm just going to overwrite it. And now let's go back onto my PSTV. Let's install it and I will show you guys how to set this up. Okay, so once we are back, what we can actually do is just press cancel on this message and we just want to go down to our UXO and just press X to open it. Scroll all the way down and we're looking for the USB MC VPK file. So here is mine at USB MC underscore installer dot VPK. Press X, X again to install it and then just X one more time and the application should start installing to your home screen. So once it is done, let's just close out of each shell for now. And we will be able to find it on here. So as you can see, here it is, USB-MC. Let's press X just to start up the program. And we want to press um, the cross or X to install the plugin. Once it's installed, press X again and your PSTV will reboot. Okay guys, so once it has been rebooted, you can now actually use it as secondary storage. If you want to use it as main storage, what we have to do is just go ahead and open USB MC again. But this time you're going to see that the options menu is actually different. From here, this is where we want to plug in our USB hard drive or SD card. So go and plug it into the USB port on your PSTV. Now once it's plugged in, just give it about 5 seconds and then what we can actually do is press cross to install the USB as our memory card. So I'm going to press cross or X, whatever you call it. You can press triangle if you wish to uninstall the plugin and you don't want to go any further. And you can also press circle if you wish to exit. But I'm just going to press X, cross and then it's just going to install. So here you go, it's found it. 
memory card 35 gigabyte and it's basically going to replace it so this is going to be our main storage now it's saying would you like to migrate content from your current memory card onto your new one if you press copy it only copies Vita shell and Molucus shell if it's on there if you press square it copies all data and if you press circle you can cancel I'm going to press square to copy all of the data so I'm just going to press that now now as you can see this is going to copy everything that's from my one gigabyte onto my 32 gigabyte SD card you can see there is also a loading bar at the bottom of the screen we're going to have to wait this wait for this to load um, it shouldn't take too long because there isn't really much to copy but yeah just wait for this to complete okay so it's finally done now that did actually take longer than I expected um, but it says installation was successful shut down your device and remove the Sony memory card obviously if you don't have a Sony memory card and you are using internal storage like me that doesn't matter all you have to do is just press X square circle square any button and your device will reboot so just press it wait for your PSTV to reboot and then we can check to see if it actually worked Okay guys, so once it's rebooted, let's just do a quick test. There's actually a few tests we can do. The first one we can do is just open up the system settings. We're then looking for system information. So if you scroll all the way down, go to system right here, system information. And as you guys can see, it says capacity 28 gigabyte, free space 28 gigabyte. That's the first indication that it's now using my SD card memory stick instead of the internal storage. We can also check this out in Vita Shell. So if we go back on this, go back again, and we can just press the home button and close out of this. Now let's open up Vita Shell just to test. Your custom firmware should be running because as I said before, this works on 3.60 and 3.65 and so only right now. So let's just start up Vita Shell and um, we can have a look. So there you go guys, as you can see it's now working, UXO is at 28 gigabyte, so we successfully mounted our USB as our permanent main storage. Now if you guys want to reverse this, what you actually have to do is go into the USB MC installer again, so just go ahead and open it, make sure it's plugged in, and you actually have to press triangle to uninstall the plugin. Now if you don't want to uninstall it, that's fine, you can just press circle to exit, and yeah, that is pretty much it. So that is pretty much it for this video. That is how you mount your USB hard drive or SD card as internal storage on your PSTV. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.